Imagine we have n stairs and Bob can only climb either one step or two steps at a time. If Bob wants to reach the first stair, there is only one way by taking a single step. If Bob wants to reach the second stair, there are two ways. He can either take two single steps or climb two stairs in one step. Similarly, there are three possible ways to reach the third stair. Now, the problem statement is, how many total ways are there to reach the top stair? This is a classic dynamic programming problem and I will make it easier for you to understand. Think about this. To reach the top stair, Bob could have arrived from either the last stair by taking a single step or from the second last stair by taking a double step. Right? So, if we add the number of ways to reach those two stairs, we get the final answer. And the base cases are, the first stair has only one possibility and the second stair has two possibilities. Pause and think deeply if this isn't clear. Now we can solve this problem using naive recursion. But in that case, the time complexity will be exponential. If you are unsure why it becomes exponential, you should check out the video on introduction to dynamic programming first. So, how can we get the answer in an efficient way? We will first initialize an array of the same size as n, 6 in our case, and set all of its elements to 0. Now let's set the first element to 1 and the second element to 2, representing our base cases. Now looking at the recurrence relation, we need to add the last two values to get the current value. So we will simply add the last two values iteratively and fill the array. This should be easy to understand. Once the loop finishes, the algorithm will simply return the last element, which represents the number of ways to reach the top stair. In our case, it's 13. The code for this is also easy to understand. First, start with the function definition that takes n as input. Then check for the base cases and return accordingly. Next, initialize the array and set the values as mentioned before. Then, run a loop from the third element onwards adding the last two elements and storing the results at the current index. And finally, return the last element. Both the time and space complexity in this case are linear, since we loop over the array once. However, the space complexity can be further optimized to constant time by storing only the last two values in the variables instead of the whole array. But I will leave that to you as homework.